Um, I'm going to kind of go through this um, showing you an open surgical procedure because the antennas are different and then a laparoscopic one. And Dr. Chang uses both and it's also used uh, by Dr. Aguilea in conventional radiology. So, first of all, this is the microwave system. There's three separate... I'm sorry. Can you start over? <laughs> I couldn't see. Um, there's three separate generators. Um, they can be separated, so if, let's say you have a case here in the OR, and then you have another case over in IR, you can separate these generators. Um, you have one pump, the pump is used only for laparoscopic, and over in IR for percutaneous. Otherwise, it's just the generators, okay? I'm going to start just kind of by telling you the difference. I'm not sure who all knows about radio frequency versus microwave, but the difference is they're both... Um, heating, so you're heating tumors, liver tumors. Um, RF and microwave, it's just a difference of um, the um, energy spectrum. So with RF, it's lower down on the energy spectrum, so there is current going through the patient, so those wavelengths are a little bit longer. With microwave, you move up and you don't need grounding pads because there is no current going through the patient. So that's the first difference. The second difference is this gets extremely hot very, very fast. So when I say extremely hot, that's about um, 100 degrees Celsius, okay? And this all will cook a tumor in approximately 10 minutes, okay? With RF, if you have multiple probes, they go sequential. So you're burning one, then the second, then the third. With microwave, all three are going at once. So what does that mean to you guys? It means that you can go after larger tumors, because all three are going, going at once, you can cook a larger tumor. And it also means that if you have multiple tumors, you can go in and cook all three within 10 minutes. Less time for the patient to be under anesthesia, plus OR time, all of that. Um, and the third big difference is that RF, um, if you're ablating a tumor near a large vessel, say a portal vein, um, RF will take the path of least resistance. So a lot of times, all that energy is doing is it's really heating up the blood and it's not really cooking that tumor because it's being pulled by that vessel. With microwave, it creates kind of a zone of heating. It all keeps in one spot, so there's less recurrence rates with microwave. Okay? Any questions on those two? Okay. So that's the, the big difference between the two. What I'll show you here is the open procedures are very, very simple. If you're pulling something off the shelf, the, um, let me just see what this is. What you're going to look for is VTS. Anything with an S stands for surgical. Okay, so that is an open antenna. If you see just VT, that means it's laparoscopic. Okay, this is what the surgical antenna looks like. The white accordion on this is really just for safety because you lose energy when you plug this in, you lose energy from the generator to the tip here. So this cord can get hot. So that's just to keep it off the drain. Okay? If Dr. Cheng is very used to it. If it's in his way, slide it down as long as you know it gets warm. Okay? So all you do is you open one, two, or three antennas, depending on how many he wants. If you're going to use three, you're probably going after a much larger tumor. Using one, he's just going to go straight on in. All you do is you take this, it only fits one way. Plug it in, you'll hear a little click. If you don't hear, the, if for some reason this isn't connected right, the system will not allow you to hit any uh, energy or the time. Set the time for whatever amount, typically based on our data, it's 10 minutes and it will beep after 10 minutes. It will not allow you to go any higher than 10 minutes. 45 watts. And I never he does know what he wants. Yes. Yeah. So and if he does, then there's, I'm going to go through to, I mean, he should know. Yeah. Um, but otherwise, there should be something on here, I'll make sure it is. But it just shows your ablation zones if you're using one, two, or three. So if he says, oh, how many am I get? what size am I going to get for three? You'll have that on here and you can just show him. But otherwise, so again, 45 watts, 10 minutes. He says, okay, he's going to take a look at this under ultrasound. He's going to say, it's great, let's start. And you hit the start button. And that is it. And it will be continually telling you that energy is being delivered. 
okay? And I can pass this around to show you, but this is um, the green section here. You can see this green section. That's called your active tip, okay? So that's actually the hottest part. This still is going to get warm, but this is really where you're cooking. There's a little red mark in the center here, which indicates that's actually where that energy starts. So the energy starts in the center and comes out and creates that zone of heating. So ideally, Dr. Chang would like to have this little red marker in the center of that tumor. That's what he's aiming for. Okay. Can pass that we on have, to take like, does this get holstered on the field or anything? Like, what if these? Um, do you have a little do we cup? Uh, some hospitals do. I don't think so. There's clips along here There's that maybe clip, There's a clip on the side that will clip onto the field. Okay. But once we're finished using it, we're finished. Yeah. Okay. It gets unplugged so it doesn't okay. sit on the drape. Right. Yeah. It gets handed There's off. awful little clips along okay. the way. And yeah. you can take these off and move them wherever you want. So if you want it up here or down right. here, you can do that. You know, while we've been waiting, we've just kind of like put it in the blow holster. Yeah, that's what it is. Okay. But yeah. um, normally when he's finished, he's finished. So I just, just hang off. That. So, and yeah. does this, like, is this all peeled? Can you guys pull this out of it? Oh, it comes, yeah, it comes like this. Okay. And then you take this off on the sterile field. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then you just open that up. Mm -hmm. Hand off. Yep. And then yep. you'll take that, and then that gets handed off to either me or who's ever circulating. And where have we been putting this machine? Do we put it at the foot? Do we put it at where? where well, behind him. Him. Like if he's on the, it, he'll be usually on the right side of the patient. So it's just kind of oh, behind the Or okay. across from him, whichever is easier, yeah, depending whatever. on where anesthesia and everything okay. is. It depends on how many things are in the room, because he usually uses the aloca with this oh, to okay. find the tumor. Okay. So it depends on how much stuff we can get around the back. Okay. But it's something that we <laughs> could pull up. You know, you could keep this on your field and then we could pull up the machine when you're ready to use it. Yeah, yeah. she usually okay. goes okay. for me right before, because yeah. okay. he doesn't decide to use it. Until he decides. He doesn't want anything okay. open until yep. he's okay. absolutely right. positive. So don't open it. I mean, don't open it. No. He's yeah, I agree until he says, says, yeah. Okay. Now, the other thing, so I went through what, if he's using this for strictly ablation, um, he does use this for pre coag if he's going to resect or um, wedge something out. So I'm going to just pass this around and show you guys kind of what how this is used. This one is using three of them, but you can use two. And on this picture, you'll see that he has his hands, and what he'll do is he'll take one antenna, move, 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 kind of like a picket fence. But since this came out, we have um, two little plastic pieces, kind of a hand piece. So if anyone's familiar with the Habib, it kind of works as just one piece that you move along.